What's goody YouTube? back to you with that new new nah i'm not even gonna do i'm not even gonna start all that now i know i don't usually come on camera looking the way i look um in my little robe and bonnet which is fine because this is just me chilling in the house and i know i look good in the house <laughs> but that is because i literally did not plan this video at all i was just doing what i was doing and i was like uh, let me cut the camera on cut the cameras and create some content for y'all share what i'm doing with you all so the reason why i am up way past my bedtime and coming on camera all natural is because i am packing to go on a trip and i want to do a shopping haul with you all i have bought <laughs> i have bought too many clothes so many just a whole lot of clothes yes i bought a whole lot of clothes to go on a trip i am taking with my very best friends big mix we are going in five days to drum roll please we're going to miami we're going to miami Going to Miami. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yes, me and my squirrel friends are going to Miami, and I cannot be more excited. There is so much to celebrate: graduations, birthdays, out with the old and with the new, celebrations of just freedom and life. And it's a hot girl summer. It's a hot girl summer. It's a city girl summer. Period. It's a pretty bitch summer. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's right. Mm. It's a barb summer. Um, so yeah, we finna be outside. Thankfully, we feel comfortable traveling because all four of us have gotten our vaccines. Um, otherwise, we would not be taking this trip. We've never had a girls trip before. It's gonna be super wild and super fun. Bus. Club. Another club. Plane. Next place no sleep and we just deserve it okay we have to like carve out pockets of joy for ourselves so this is us just doing that so right now i am in the midst of packing but I'm like you know what let me show my folks what your girl got because i love to shop <laughs> i say that like a little embarrassed but i do love to shop i love clothes i play dress up on the daily pretty much but like when you go on a trip it's like a whole new chance like tap into like an another persona of yourself so this shopping haul is actually going to be one part of i do like a miami series in my mind so make sure y'all stay tuned on my channel for that subscribe like and share um but anyway i've done enough talking y'all i can talk forever i'm sure the people who know me know that without further ado let's get into the haul so up First, I'm gonna start with like the casual daytime items. I bought this shirt, boom, from Shein. It says, I don't know if that reads backwards for you all. I hope not. But it reads self-love. It's in this super cute turquoise aqua sea foam green color. And I love that. And I just like that it's like basic and you know, cute message, a message I can stand by, you know? I can see myself wearing this with like some khakis, my Air Forces. I can see myself wearing this like with some sweat shorts or like sweatpants or yeah, the possibilities with the cool, comfortable, but looking cute is pretty infinite with this. I got this white semi-sheer frill ruffled halter top and it's like very cute to me i can see myself wearing this like for a business casual look or super casual to the beach anywhere like this is very versatile you can seriously dress this up or dress this down however you want to this was also from shein next i got this white ribbed collared 
backless dress. Oh God. <laughs> Felt like I was just being birthed. Um, This is her. It's giving like, I don't know, the nanny for me for some reason. Keep it casual with this. Okay, so next I got this stringy piece of fabric. It's a neon green. I wanna kinda call it a chartreuse a little bit. Essentially, you tie it behind your back and then you take these other straps back here and wrap them around your bod in like whichever kind of way that you desire. There's potential for this. I know it looks a hot ass mess right now. You create it, you know? Now, moving on to casual bottoms. I got these cool khaki trousers and I just think they are like of such a cool design and cut. I love like these pleats right here, like very subtle paper lunch sack color and even like feel look. And also just the waist, it's like just this sack lunch looking type thing. This is also from Shein um and it has these clasps at the top that i think just looks so like just very industrial um i just like that i think it looks so i don't know militant a little bit and it has this very long zipper so it's high-waisted which means that you can get it up over you know those nice thick thighs nice thick booty and it will still cinch your waist at the top it's gonna give you a very typical you know hourglass figure which is cool Next, I got this bright orange skirt from Amazon, and it's, you know, the Y2K type, um, you know, revival designs. This, like, mid Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie type of skirt, I feel. It also reminds me of White Chicks a lot. Yes, it has this horribly tacky drape look in the top and then just randomly cuts off into a flowy skirt at the bottom. And it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks good on everybody. It's so ugly, but it works so well. So next is another really cool bottom that I got. It's also from Shein. And it kind of just feels like 20 paintings were just chewed up, swallowed, and vomited all over these pants. And I love it. <laughs> I really wanted like a cool vacation pant. And usually those are like bell bottom looking, have flowers or something on them, but something about this just reads very tropical to me. I don't know. It's of like this satiny, silky kind of material. It's, I think it's probably polyester, but it's pretty breathable. And I feel it's like well constructed. It, has a long zipper on the side, so again, you can get it over, you know, your thighs, and it will still cinch up at your waist. And the waist has like a pretty good allowance of elastic. Plus, it has <coughs> pockets. Thank you. I don't know who, like who is spreading the rumor that people who wear women-coated clothing or feminine-looking clothing don't need pockets. I do, y'all can see it. I have feelings about that, I do. Lastly, for the daytime pants, I have these striped cream and white ribbed trousers. It's like textured and feels like velvety suede-like. It's white and like a stone color in between and it's just so beautiful to me. Okay, moving on to the evening wear. <laughs> Next, I have this white cutout dress, and I got it from a website called Chic Affair. It's a part of like that deconstructed, like torn apart and like put back together in bobbing pins type of style of fashion that has kind of like come about more recently. When I put this on, it definitely makes me feel like a rich bitch who just needs to be sipping champagne on a yacht, getting my toes sucked, like, and my neck massaged and all that. Next, I have this hot pink double lace-up skirt. I love this skirt with so much of me. I got this from Pretty Little Thing, and it 
is just so hot and sexy to me like the color is just Mm, like it's just delicious like it's like just so, like such a true hot pink um and like the lace ups are so adorable next is what i feel is like another art inspired piece a little bit i got this very cool abstract dress mock neck bell armed backless dress from fashion nova and it's like so and cool the dots just remind me of like art like yayoi kusama and it is just so cool and beautiful i just felt like i need this and this is actually a midi dress so this is more like evening wear i don't know about wearing this to the club but you always could try you know additionally the bell arms are constructed there is a material in here that is actually maintaining the shape isn't that amazing? Buttons in the back. And actually has built-in underwear. So thank you Fashion Nova for being considerate and thoughtful and not just providing people with a cut of mesh. And lastly for evening wear, I have a cut out zebra print jumpsuit. Also from Fashion Nova. I really wanted to do an animal print type moment. I've been feeling zebra a lot lately. I feel like leopard was the thing at one time and I definitely had you know my fair share of leopard patterns I think I still do actually but I want to try zebra this time and this is a really fun outfit so okay so I'm gonna move on to accessories I got this very large and beautiful scarf from Shein it is very good quality. It feels really nice and silky. I love the colors and everything on it. It's such a really nice, cool design. Okay, so continuing with accessories, I got this pink and blue, early 2000s looking pair of sunglasses. I was definitely inspired by like cool ass black chicks, like wearing these glasses with like the cutest pressed leave out, like blending into like their like honey blonde wig like that's what this was giving me next i got these black rim sunglasses with orange lenses when i saw it i just made me think about missy elliott for some reason i don't want no woman in anyway also got these cream and brown super chic lenses okay purses i'm just gonna try and run through them kind of quick i got this straw looking purse from shein it's like a cute mid-size so it can hold quite a few things but still like you know your fashion and all that she's supposed to do next i got this zebra pattern zebra and gold chain um shoulder bag from pretty little thing just super cute and literally can't hold more than like a lip gloss stick of gum roll-on perfume your id and debit card and maybe like three cigarettes or something and i guess that's all you really need when you're carrying a purse like this otherwise why would they sell purses like this i got this red bag from shein with this chain handle I don't know how I feel about it, but I have it and own it now, so we're gonna make it work. And then I got this French handled bag, which I feel like I've been seeing everywhere. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot of potential for it once I kind of fluff her out and all that. I also got this white shoulder bag, um, which I have actually already been using a little while. These are super cute, like, oh yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but this brings it out of me. I'm gonna show you all my shoe. I guess I'm gonna start from like most basic to like, bitch, these shoes have me excited. Ugh. That's that's how we're gonna do it. But I, I love every shoe that I got. I got these white square toe flip-flops from pretty little thing i love the square toe like talk about bringing like chic to something so basic 
Continuing on with the white, I got these white lace up high heels from Shein. Just trying to imagine these laced up around my brown leg. Um, again, also square toe. And it has like this, I'm just gonna call it like a hammer heel because it's like just very square, very sturdy. If we need to get to fighting in Miami, um, I think I'll be okay in these shoes, I think. Next, I have these orange kitten heel high heel sandals. Again, also square toe, but with a more glossy finish. And I got these for like $12. Um, and I'm not a size nine, but I was the closest size to a size eight girl, so I got them. Cause I was looking for something to perfectly match this bag. The color is loud enough and it speaks for itself. It doesn't need to be like 10 feet tall, you know? So it really has like, it's a very well balanced shoe in my opinion. Next, I have these super gorgeous, like semi mule sandals from Carl Lagerfield. Uh, and I got these for $30. I love the clear heel, very cute. And I like that the PVC part or like clear part here has like a black shading to it. And I'm literally just seeing this for the first time, but it literally says Carl Lagerfield underneath. And lastly, my favorite shoe that I have purchased, and I was looking for them, forever all over in person all over online and it just kind of popped up in my face and i got it for a great deal these are just giving like full barb it makes me feel like a brat stall when i wear them and my friend called them Polly Pocket Shoes. So I really feel like they're Miami appropriate. Um, they're just so pretty and it's like a cloth all the way around. I don't know, I love everything about these. That is all I'm going to show of my haul tonight. Um, I'm skipping the bathing suits and I'm skipping the accessories. It's gonna be like just way too much, but y'all will see it. Y'all kind of, I'm gonna give you a glimpse or whatever. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. I liked going through like each of my items. I'm like actually I just like ponder and think about why I really like love and bought each one of these. If y'all like that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Make sure you subscribe and share. Do all the things that the YouTubers say to do. I will see y'all in Miami. Hey.